I found the sea otter power disc. Shocker. Yeah, you kept diving while we checked out the otter's awesome tool use, not to mention saving Koki. Guys, fair is fair. Martin gets to activate sea otter power. Oh, yeah. This is going to be awesome. Activate sea otter power. Oh, yeah. Woo! I feel built for the water. Oh, warm coat. Paddle feet. Hydrodynamic body. Oh, woo! Let's go for a swim, coach. What's she doing? She's parking cork. Sea otters anchor their babies in kelp when they go off to look for food. That way, they don't drift away. Ooh, now that I have awesome sea otter swimming powers, can we swim through the kelp forest? What an amazing ecosystem. It's like underwater trees, and there's so much life in here. Different fish. Sea stars. Whoa, uh, more eels. And sea urchins. Hey, you better watch out, sea urchins. There's an otter around. Come on, I know you like to eat kelp, but if that otter sees you, you might be the one that gets eaten. Huh? Uh-oh. Or me? Whoa, stellar sea lion attack! I think we lost them. Or not! Woo, you guys don't have to worry about many predators, but that's one of them. Stellar sea lions. Oh, and orcas, some sharks, and the occasional bald eagle. That's about it. sea otter style. It's like a dream come true. That sea lion didn't have a chance of catching us, right, coach? Wow, Jimmy, you've been practicing. Look who I found on my last dive. Oh, amazing. Jimmy became a pro underwater swimmer while we were gone. I wouldn't go that far, but who needs a power suit when you've got a kick like this? They must be getting ready for a deep dive. Yeah, going deeper, looking for bigger squid. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, we're not a beach ball or a bumper boat. Bumper, that's it, you're Bumper, the newest member of the Wild Cracks team. Here we go. Nobody's ever followed hunting sperm whales into the depths. We're with you, Bumper. Okay, Aviva, how deep can this sub go? Deeper than any mobile sub ever created by humans. Hope. Losing all the sun's light at 183 meters, leaving the ocean sunlit zone, entering twilight zone. Sub lights on. Oh, we're going deeper. Uh, Chris, do you ever get the feeling we're being watched? Sure, the Wildcrats crew is always keeping an eye on us. An eye the size of a basketball? There's only one creature on the planet with an eye this big. A giant squid! Ah, oh, now that's a whale of a squid. Behind your bumper! Oh no, squid attack! She heard Bumper's distress call. Bumper's mom to the rescue. Whoa! That's gotta be the world's most powerful headbutt. Because the sperm whale has a giant head. Only the blue whales is bigger. This is it. What we've dreamed of seeing. What happens every day where people can't go. The creature battle no one has seen before. I'm on it. Keep with them, Chris. I'm on it. No, oh, we're in it. Whoa. Ugh. Chris, I just discovered something. Giant squid suction cups have serrated cutting teeth. Ah! <laughs> 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 
That's enough squid slime for one day. Whoa. Battle between sperm whale and giant squid. We can't miss this. How deep can this sub go? Not any deeper. Sensors indicate you're nearing collapse depth. Collapse depth? If you go much deeper, the sub will be crushed like a tin can. Go. Uh-oh. Uh, Chris, we might have to head back. We can't miss this battle. Yeah, but we don't want to get crushed either. The sub controls are acting funny. I have no controls. Must have been lost in battle. We're sinking! Fifteen meters until collapse depth. Fourteen, thirteen. Why will the sub collapse if they go deeper? It's the pressure. What pressure? The water pressure. The deeper the sub goes, the more water is on top, the heavier that water gets, pushing in on the sub. That's pressure. If there's too much water weight pushing down on the sub, or pressure, the sub will be crushed. Gotta pull them out of there. Okay, I get it, I get it. I see why it's harder to explore the deep sea than outer space. I wish we'd gone to the moon. The worst part is, we saw the start of the battle between the sperm whale and the giant squid, and we'll never know how it ends. Almost there. Nine meters to collapse depth. Eight, seven, six, gotcha. And go out. Oh, we're getting jostled a lot. That's what I was saying. In these narwhal power suits, as boy narwhals without horns, we're not getting any respect. Ow. I think you're right, bro. Hey, wait a second. The horn isn't growing out of the narwhal's forehead. It's growing out of the left side, above his mouth. Ow! This guy's too, right? It's actually growing out of the upper jaw and protruding through the skin. It's a special tooth that grows super duper extra long. So if a narwhal horn is actually made of a tooth, then this horn is really a tusk. Thank you. So that's where the mistake was. No wonder that horn activation malfunctioned. Because technically, that horn isn't a horn at all. It's a tooth, a tusk. Of course, tusks. Tusks are teeth that protrude from the mouth like walrus and warthogs, or through the cheeks like elephants and narwhals where the tusk grows out of the jaw, through the cheek area, and out through the left side of the narwhal's face. This is exactly what I needed to know. Soon we're gonna have a horn. Oh, I mean tooth. Tusk, 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 tusk. Yeah, we've been calling it the wrong thing the whole time. We've gotta remember, it's a tusk. Tusk, 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 tusk. Oh, hey! <laughs> so how old are you narwhals when you grow your tusk anyway? How old are you now? About two? Hey, what's this? Whoa, your narwhal tusk is growing! Ha ha ha! Congratulations! I'm gonna name you Little Tusker. Whoa, Little Tusker! You are growing a tusk! Awesome! The narwhal power disc is complete! Thanks, Aviva. Now that I have the programming right, the narwhal DNA should direct a tusk to grow from the left side of your helmet. Jimmy? What am I seeing the cupcakes? Incoming! Oh, hold on! <laughs> Teleport! <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, little Tusker, let's try this again. And I hope we get a tusk this time. Reactivate Norwal powers! Yes! Now this feels right. These are incredible. And you know, now we can swim through the Norwal pod with lots of confidence. And you know what else? Oh, yeah. 
And we don't even have to do the are you thinking what I'm thinking thing because this is so obvious. A guard! Touche! Wow, this is awesome! Ah, gotcha! They just hit hop along the bottom of the river like astronauts walking on the moon. Aw, that's why I love hippos. That little guy is so cute. I'll name him Hipster Apotamus. First name Hipster, last name Apotamus. <laughs> Look at him go! Hippity hop, hippity hop. Oh, hi, little hipster. Hipster, look out! Rocket oil! I thought hippos ruled the river. Yeah, but crocs will grab a calf if they get a chance. Mama Apotamus to the rescue! Whew, that was close. Where's hipster? There! What's he doing? The disc! Hipster found the disc! Oh, yeah! Let's go! <gasps> oh, no! He's heading back! Mayday! 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 Whoa! Rock! What's with this slimy rock? Hey, you're not a rock! You're a hippo! So that means this is not slime, it's natural hippo sunscreen. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I wish our skin had a natural sunscreen like yours does. Whoa! Ugh. Gotta go! Gotta keep my eye on Tusker. If he finds that hippo sub in this river, there could be trouble. <gasps> and there's the trouble. Martin, Aviva, come in! That's it. Try to get past that big beastie varmint. Oh, and we may just be too busy to help if they get in a jam. <laughs> Follow that hippo! Oh, right. He's going up for air. Now's our chance. Okay, hold on tight. We're going in. It's Tusker! He's back! And he's taking on a challenger who wants to take over his part of the river. We gotta get out of here! I think we can slip around and get the disc. What? We can't get between these two! We have to try. Tusks are like massive swords jabbing at each other. It's like two sumo wrestlers in a sword fight. Are you guys getting out of there? I'm working on it, dude. Oh, we got to retreat. Not until we get the disc. Oh. That's the point. Yeah? No, that's the point. Ow. Oh. Ow. Now, are you ready to get out of here? Hippos fiercely protect their part of the river. Zach Watts, it's 7 o'clock, Martin. I can't understand you, Chris. You've got the Arctic pearl in your mouth. <laughs> uh, Martin, you said that a little loud, too. Martin, go on! <laughs> got it. Swim, Martin! Hey, Zackbots, is this what you want? Ha! Good walrus move, Martin. <sighs> Not good enough, Chris. Help! Over here! Hang on, 
bro. I've got an idea that might work. All I need now is a clam. But haven't you eaten enough? Ha! Found one! An octopus can't resist a tasty clam. Tentacles to the creature rescue. rescue! Oh, that's gonna cost me. The herd's in trouble, Chris. After 13 minutes without air, they're becoming really weak. And after 20, they drown. It's been 14 minutes. Oh, but this thing's a maze of numbers and buttons. It'll take forever to dismantle it. We have no choice. Let's give Zack the pearl so the herd can breathe. Wait a second, guys. Zack and I spent a summer together at science camp. Maybe I can crack the code. Not so fast, little Miss Smarty Pants. Zack's favorite number is 22. He has six toes on his left foot, eats four radish sandwiches a day, his favorite color is chartreuse, and his favorite person is himself. Oh, you think you're so smart, smarty pants? Well, I've got other seal thingies up my sleeve. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you go, did it! Eva. Breathe, walrus buddies, breathe! Now we've got to save Blobby. One Arctic pearl coming up, Donita. Thanks to my Insta-Freeze device, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. I slow lockdown. Let's see them get out of this one. You're trapped, wild rats, and I've got the baby seal thingy. Give me the pearl! <laughs> oh, we've only got 20 seconds left of air. And this ice, it's 20 centimeters thick. We can't break through it. That's thick enough to hold a two and a half ton truck. <laughs> You're the best bro I ever had, Martin. 10 seconds, nine, eight. <sighs> Back at you, Chris. Four, three. Unbelievable! Ice smashing heads! They're free! Woo! Oh, lucky for us, a creature that finds its food under the ice has a built in helmet that helps it bust right back after lunch. A uh, big whoop! I've still got the tubby baby. Give me the pearl! Uh, Zach, you really don't want to be holding Blobby right now. He's been eating clams all day. Plus, it's not a good idea to get between a wild animal mom and her baby. <laughs> oh, look at the time. I better make like a pearl and roll. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Gotta slow him down with walrus power. Flippers don't fail me now. Test time! Flipper power to the max! You're not going anywhere with those cubs, Zach! Way to go, Walrus Man! Oh no? They think their kids are in danger from each other. Whoa! It's a rarely seen battle of Arctic Titans! Forget dancing babies. A big battle is much better. All right, the polar bear has the advantage here. Moving really well, like she's dancing on ice. But the walrus is clumsy on land like a giant blubber balloon. With no legs, she's got to drag herself back to the water. Can she make it before the polar bear? Oh! Whoa, now the tables are turned. Even though the polar bear's a good swimmer, the walrus is built for underwater. Down here, the walrus is pure fluid swimming power. With the tusk, she's pulling the bear under. I'll grab the cup. I've got the cap. Yeah. Get their mothers. I'll distract them. 
It's all over, Varmatech. Stealing little wild animals, and you think you're the world's greatest mind? More like the world's greatest pain in a bear's behind. What? No, I found these tender little ones and wanted to return them to their families. I was looking all over for you two. What are you talking about? We saw you waving bye-bye with the walrus flipper. No, 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 it was holding my head. Must have thought I was its mommy. Can somebody get frostbite of the brain? But I am so worried now. You've got to find their mothers. I'll just go look over there. See ya. Hey, where are the moms? Yeah, where are they? Those wild rats can have your stinky kittens. You're the bigger prize, and I've got plans for you. But first, I'm gonna trick Chris and Martin and get rid of them forever. <laughs> Chris! I found them! Go on to your ma, Poby. I'll hang with you later. Back to where you belong, living free and in the wild. We did it! Yeah. A joke. If it is, I think we're the punchline. Prepare to get sucked! <laughs> 